Political tensions have continued to rise in Zambia following a successful filing in of nomination by President Edgar Lungu to recontest for the third term as Zambia's president on patriotic front party ticket. The president is of the view that he's still the most popular candidate, narrating that people still want his leadership. Even amongst animals, there's a breaking order. Kula ba imwe di panda shine shine konga. Gaya fma po ila imbiya konga po. Ifo fia zisi. Even uba sto po ifo ba ba vendi. So mira mna kwa tinga wami pele shuka labu tumuru abantu mala mna kwa tinomba mna ba fe alpha and omega. There's nothing like that in PF. As we go into 2026. We will begin handing over. Edgar Lungu and his team will begin handing over because their tour of duty will be coming to an end in 2026. So we want to see exemplary leaders who follow the cue of respecting the followers. And many people, including his party members, have condemned the move by the president, citing that as a lawyer, he should be defending and setting by example the importance of following the constitution of the land. Kelvin Bualiafube popularly known as KBF, a presidential hopeful candidate of the ruling Patriotic Front Party, has vowed not to engage himself in an election that is against the law and anything that the nomination of President Lungu is invalid even though the constitutional court ruled out otherwise. I have stated on several occasions and on different platforms the importance of adhering to the rule of law. I maintain that my older brother, the president, Edgar Chagwalungu, is not eligible to stand as Republican president. And as a lawyer, he knows this. He has held the office of president twice, having been elected two times. There is no third term in our constitution the Republican Constitution. Because of my strong belief in the rule of law and the respect of both the party and the Republican Constitutions, I do not want to be part and parcel of an election that is against the law. Chiluga amended the Constitution. What did he do? He now changed it. Now, the language is very important. We fight over words in court. We now have Article 35. It now says, subject to clauses to clause 2 and 4, they change the language. Every, every president shall hold office for a period of five years. Although the language has changed, the substance remains the same. The tenure of the office of president is five years. Then they now go ahead and say, notwithstanding anything to the contrary contained in this constitution or any other law, no person who has twice been elected as president shall be eligible for election to that office. You see the language has changed. We are talking about two five-year terms. They are now saying, forget the two, we are no longer dealing with two, two, uh, two five-year terms. We are now talking about the number of times you elected. get elected. It doesn't matter how long you are in the office, as long as you've been elected twice okay you're not eligible and as zambia prepares for august presidential and parliamentary elections the country continues to stagger in corruption mainly initiated by top government officials a norm which has received ridicule and condemnation by the president himself but let me take advantage of this opportunity to spell out my concern lately I have seen an increase in corruption amongst our people. We have integrity committees at places of work, in the ministries, they're not working. Constant deposits in people's bank accounts, huge sums on daily basis, or not in industry or business or commerce, tell me that there's something wrong there. So I urge you to desist, to keep away, to refrain from the temptation to go that way because very soon I'll be firing some ministers if what I hear is true. There's so much corruption 
so much corruption that you can smell it. Illegal allocation of land, illegal acquisition of property or whatever description, with impunity, that cannot be allowed. The people are suffering there, overpricing and so on is the order of the day. I think that uh, enough is enough. Whether you are a big fish or a small fish, you are just but one person. I will not allow us to continue. But I'll calling the individual I'll be calling the individuals concerned to my office to talk to them about my recent findings on acts of corruption amongst my cabinet ministers. The country is going through very, very difficult times. Um, I have never seen Zambians suffer like this in many, many years. And uh, it would be surprising, very surprising, for anybody to say that um, the country is okay. People are okay because people are not okay. And for anyone to say they would laugh when people complain that the country is in distress, it's difficult to express or to answer such views because there are no medicines in hospitals. A lot of homes have their people, their children go to bed without decent meals in a day. So, how would anyone laugh about? such a reality, a devastating, dehumanizing situation is very difficult to really comprehend uh, anyone having such views unless they are amongst the small number that lavish in wealth derived from poor people, poor people funding the small political elite of those that say two million quarters is change, is petty cash. No, it's not change. No, it's not petty cash. There's distress. School going kids are not in school. Not just because of COVID-19, just because parents or guardians, for orphans, guardians, cannot afford to keep them in school. Many Zambians are looking to the future hoping for the next leadership to change the current economic status as to elevate their living standards. Reporting for Africa Equity Media, I am Kenisha Mushwe in Lusaka, Zambia.